The lead form is where we actually collect name and email address. By default, we have that pop up before the main questions and we collect first name, last name, email address. It's also where you can configure privacy statement and GDPR settings. Adding extra fields to this is pretty easy. If you wanted to go phone number, for example, you can choose this. You can select a default country code. And you can choose whether it's required or not. So I'm going to add phone number and say it's not required. The privacy statement will sit at the bottom of the form and it's an opportunity to write something like we take your privacy seriously. The privacy policy URL, usually get this from your existing website, you might have to modify it slightly to include this scorecard within there. And then your opt-in settings, you've got three options. You've got implied consent. This means that there'll be no checkbox on the lead form, which means you know you might be saying something like hit this in the privacy settings, you know, by continuing you accept. Da -da 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 and this is implied consent, or you might switch that back, go for explicit consent, which is they have to tick the box to opt in, but you can make that optional. So it doesn't stop them from continuing to take the scorecard if they don't tick it, but you know specifically whether they've ticked that or not. And we record this information and show it against the lead in the dashboard as well. Or finally, you've got explicit consent required where we just won't let people through past that lead form until they've ticked the box. And this is the wording that shows up next to the tick box as well. So you can customize that. Now that we've customized a few settings, let's go and have a look how that looks on the front end. So click start. Here's my updated form. First name, last name, email from the defaults. I've got the phone number which I've added opt-in to receive updates for our email, privacy statement, privacy policy link, all of that that we just added. And if I click start, you can see you must agree before submitting is there on the opt-in, uh, but actually the phone number is green because we made that optional. You will find some further customization settings for the lead form on either the landing page or the result page, depending on if you've got the location of the lead form before or after the questions. So for example, if I switch this to be after the questions, I go over onto my result page, click edit over here. You'll see I've got the pop-up form here on, the, on my result page. And if I click that, you'll see that it's got that same form that we saw before. Um, but there's a few other options here to be able to edit the content that's above the form. Um, and set a few settings such as background color and you know, what the form fields look like.